Hey guys, it's your girl Charity, also known as Lady Judah. And let me first say, I want to apologize. I have literally made about four different videos in the past three months. I just have not edited them or uploaded them yet. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back and do that. Um, but I definitely wanted to get this one done and uploaded. Um, and because I gotta check on you guys, I gotta check on you guys when I'm feeling heavy, when I'm my focus is off, or when I'm you know in need of motivation, I immediately think of you guys, and um, it I, I get prompted to do a video. So, um, the thing I want to share with you today is uh, really, really simple, comes from Luke, um, and Luke chapter 10, I believe, where Jesus just told that there were two blind men and they wanted their sight to be healed. Um, and, and Jesus said something real simple, uh, but profound. He said, be it unto you according to your faith. That's the KJV version. And I forgot what the message translation says, but the message translation says, um, it, it, I'm paraphrasing, but it says something along the lines of, um, let it be like, let it, whatever happens to you is because of the way how you believe, you know, what you believe is what you become. There it is. That's what it says. What you believe is what you will become. And I thought about that and I was like, Ooh, that's good. And I started using that, not just for me, but just in kind of, you know, different situations. So last week we had like this little snow blizzard here in Greensboro, had this little snow blizzard and you know, the people on the news and everybody on social media and, and just all around, they were like, don't go out It's bad. You can't drive out there. Just, oh, don't go out. And they were literally, I felt like they were trying to instill fear in me, telling me what not to do don't do that <laughs> so I was like well my dad taught me how to drive in this stuff I'm good so I went out I went out on the literally the day I think it was still snowing no the day after when it was supposed to be ice and the roads were horrible and they were like don't go out I was like yeah. actually no it was the day that it was still snowing it was a Thursday I went out and I got out, I, I dressed myself like I, you know, because I don't like being cold. So I dressed myself with a whole bunch of clothes on. I went outside, I cleaned off my car. I, you know, cleaned off around the tires and everything. And see, when you know how to drive in it, you're good. And so I saw that there were no tracks or anything in my, uh, in my uh, parking lot, my apartment complex parking lot. So I just made a nice trail for the rest of the cars. I circled around the parking lot about five times. You know, it was, it was a little icy up under there, but you got to know how to drop in it. My daddy taught me. And then I left and I went out on the street and I went to the stores and everything was closed except for an Asian place. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm in the wrong business because I know they made a ton of money that night. I mean, so much money. People was all in the stores. I mean, food line was closed. Walmart was closed. Was closed. I mean, so I was like, okay, you know, that's cool. So anyways, I went over to my brother's house. I stayed over there. We had a sleepover. It was fun. And then I came back like the next day and it was that. And, and I, I said, when I got in the car, I said, okay, God, I just finished reading the devotional. It was talking about be it unto you, what you believe you will become, be it unto you according to your faith. And I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing that in just about everything. Be it unto you according to your faith. I understand what other people may tell you. I understand people may have your best interests in mind. You know, people may want the best for you. They may believe the best for you when it comes to relationship, finances, education, the right church to go to, um, dating, whatever. They may, you know, they may have their say so in it, but be it unto you according to your faith. According to your faith. It, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what other people think, say, or do. What is God telling you? What do you believe? What do you think? What do you feel? Don't allow someone else's fears to become your fears. I didn't allow the news, the newscasters to tell me how to feel. That's just because I'm a little defiant. Just a little. Well, just a little defiant. Don't tell me what not to do. Don't tell me how to feel. Let me discover that for myself. But that's because I'm a trailblazer. I'm a leader. <laughs> yeah. But anyways... That's what I want to leave with you. Be it unto you according to your faith. What do you believe? What do you see? What do you want to see? 
Shut everybody else out. All the negativity, all the pessimism, shut that out, okay? Be it unto you according to your faith, what you believe, what you want to do, what you want to become, who you want to become, and how you want to achieve that. So that's what I got for you guys today. Be it unto you according to your according to your faith. You will become what you believe. That's what Jesus said to him. He 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 touched their eyes, he just waved his hands, he said, become what you believe. That thing is powerful to me. And I say that to you, become what you believe. Become what you believe. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. That's all I got for you guys. Have a blessed evening. Bye-bye.